Hello, my friends. Well, if you've had an opportunity to see any of my other videos, you know that uh, motorcycles are a big part of my life and uh, pinball machines are a big part of my life. Play them virtually every day. Well, there is uh, there's something else that uh, is a big part of my life, and that is Jesus Christ. In 1978, I was 28 years old, and uh, I was living my life on the edge at that period in my life and uh, there was some drug use going on and uh, some al alcohol consumption that uh, definitely was not in moderation. So uh, on this particular day, it was my birthday, 1978, and uh, I'd been partying with some of my friends. I was riding my V8 trike went sliding into a parking lot and hit a chuck hole, the bike flipped and rolled across me. I momentarily stood up after the accident and uh, told my friends, I'm, I'm going home, I'm taking the trike home. And uh, my friend said, Steve, you're not going anywhere. And I got real argumentative and he handed me the handlebars. They had uh, snapped off in the accident. So about that time, the paramedics got there and uh, I was still being difficult. And uh, one of the paramedics told my friend, they said, it's okay, he's gonna pass out any minute. And I did, I passed out and uh, didn't regain consciousness until the next day. I was in uh, St. Joseph's Hospital in Denver and I had a, a multiple skull fracture. And the danger of that type of injury is an infection can cross that uh, one of those fractures and uh, get into your your brain blood area. Uh, your brain swells up and you'll die. So I was uh, critical for about four days. Um, after I regained consciousness, my uh, best friend and my wife came to visit and they walked in the room and looked around and walked started to walk back out. I said, uh, hey, where are you guys going? And uh, they stopped, came back to the foot of the bed and looked at me and looked like they had seen a ghost. I said, what's wrong with you guys? And my friend said, you haven't seen yourself, have you? And I said, no. And he hands me a mirror and uh, I was unrecognizable. Uh, there were no whites left in my eyes. There were solid red. My face had swollen up twice its normal size. And... So I was critical for uh, about four days and uh, got released about a week after that, I think it was. So uh, I went home and my wife was not happy with me for what I had done to myself. And uh, she took this picture and this was 10 days or more after the accident. And that's still what I looked like. You know, around about that time, someone asked me, they said, Steve, if, uh, if you had died that day, where would you have spent eternity? And I didn't know. So I went on a journey. I picked up the Bible and I began to read. I read from Genesis all the way straight through to Revelation. And before I had finished reading the Bible, I had accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior, my only hope. I trusted him then, I'm trusting him now. You know, I, uh, I don't live a perfect life and uh, there are some things I still struggle with, but uh, I know who I've believed and am persuaded that he's able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. You know, uh, I've never really, in any of my videos, uh, asked anybody to share, like, or subscribe, but uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe you know someone that could, could benefit from this story. And uh, if that's the case, then uh, sure, pass it along. You know, just like the, uh, the Jimmy Stewart movie around about this time of year, It's a Wonderful Life, um, that's kind of my sentiment right now. And you guys, you have a wonderful life. And we'll, uh, we'll see you down the road. You guys take care. Adios.